Yeremiahu, Jeremiah 22. Thus says Yahuwah, Go down to the house of the king of Yehudah and speak there at this word, and say, Hear the word of Yahuwah, O king of Yehudah, that sits upon the throne of David, you and your servants and your people that enter in by these gates. Thus says Yahuwah, Execute ye judgment and righteousness, and deliver the spoil out of the hand of the oppressor, and do no wrong. Do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, nor the widow. Neither shed innocent blood in this place. For if ye do, hath this thing indeed, then shall there enter in by the gates of this house kings sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and on horses, he and his servants and his people. But if ye will not hear at these words, I swear by myself, says Yahuwah, that this house shall become a desolation. For thus says Yahuwah unto the king's house of Yahudah, You are Gelad unto me, and the head of Lebanon, yet Surely I will make you a wilderness, and cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against you, every one with his weapons. And they shall cut down your choice cedars, and cast them into the fire. And many nations shall pass by this city, and they shall say every man to his neighbor, Wherefore has Yahuwah done thus unto this great city? Then they shall answer, Because they have forsaken at the covenant of Yahuwah Elohehem, and worshipped other Elohim, and served them. Weep ye not for the dead, neither bemoan him, but weep sore for him that goes away, for he shall return no more, nor see at his native country. For thus says Yahuwah, touching Shalom, the son of Yoshiyahu, king of Yehuda, which reigned instead of Yoshiahu his father, which went forth out of this place. He shall not return thither any more, but he shall die in the place whither they have led him captive, and shall see at this land no more. Woe unto him that builds his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that uses his neighbor's service without wages, and gives him not for his work. That says, I will build me a wide house and large chambers, and cuts him out windows, and it is sealed with cedar, and painted with vermilion. Shall you reign because you close yourself in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink, and do judgment and justice, and then it was well with him? He judged the cause of the poor and needy, then it was well with him. Was not this to know me, says Yahuwah? But your eyes and your heart are not, but for your covetousness, and for to shed innocent blood, and for oppression, and for violence, to do it. Therefore thus says Yahuwah concerning Yahuyahim, the son of Yoshi Yahu, king of Yehuda, They shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, my brother, or Ah, sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Ah, Lord, or Ah, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of an ass, drawn and cast forth beyond the gates of Yerushalayim. Go up to Lebanon and cry, and lift up your voice in Bashan, and cry from the passages, for all your lovers are destroyed. I spoke unto you in your prosperity, but you said, I will not hear. This has been your manner from your youth, that you obeyed not my voice. The wind shall eat up all your pastors, and your lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then shall you be ashamed and confounded for all your wickedness, O inhabitant of Lebanon, that makes your nest in the cedars, how gracious 
shall you be when pangs come upon you, the pain as of a woman in travail. As I live, says Yahuwah, though Kanyahu, the son of Yahu Yahim, king of Yahuda, were the signet upon my right hand, yet would I pluck you thence, and I will give you into the hand of them that seek your life, and into the hand of them whose face you fear, even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, and into the hand of the Kazdim. And I will cast you out, and death your mother that bore you, into another country where ye were not born, and there sh shall ye die. But to the land whereunto eth they desire to return, thither shall they not return. Is this man, Konyahu, a despised, broken idol? Is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure? Wherefore are they cast out, he and his seed, and are cast into a land which they know not? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah, Write ye at this man childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, for no man of his seed shall prosper, sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Yahudah.